Zapni tu mikrofon. Hello, Tango friends from all over the world. We are live one more time. Yes, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Happy to be here. Today we are changing, as you see, the subject. We are not teaching Milonga for now. We might come back to Milonga later on. Right now we start with another, um, um, another series. And this time we are going for Tango one more time. Yes. Today I'm wearing my cufflinks because we I'm celebrating the return to tango. I see. It's a special night. I see. You look very good. Thank you. You too. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you said that. Yes. We initiate a new class. Tango Caminado is a new series. Yes. So we are going to focus mostly in things that just happen as we walk. Not in figures like, let's say, no voleos or... Um, anything that the leg fly around, no ganchos or sacadas, stuff like that. Okay, we are going to focus, focus more in just uh, be elegant. We walk around doing things, but just keeping it on the floor, basically. Basically, yeah. Tango caminado means yes. tango on the floor. Yes. When we are dancing at a social place, at a milonga, for example, or a festival, we encounter difficulties with the space. So the dancers have to use caution when you approach a situation like that and do your figures, especially three-dimensional figures that have a lot of spatial and aerial movements uh, only for when there is a safe space and the opportunity for it. But you can do tango on the floor anywhere. You can walk and connect with the rhythm of the tango most any places. You, basically, you adjust the length of the step to shorter or bigger uh, but the rhythm is, a, is one of the layers of the Argentine tango. So yes. today we're going to work on walking in cross system. Cross system is also a very um, important subject and challenging for some dancers when you switch from parallel system to cross system. Parallel system is when you are in sync with your partner. Right? So, so if you move your leg to the side, your partner does the same thing. You close your leg, your partner does the same thing. You go forward with the left leg, she goes forward with the right leg. But in cross system, we walk with the other leg. So it can be a little bit um, confusing at times. Mm -hmm. Should we get to it? Yes, I remember when I was learning tango many years ago, and I was confused sometimes with the systems. I mean, I, didn't, I thought that cross was when the partner was outside, walking outside. I, at the beginning, the first time, it was like, what is cross? You know, till you understand. You know, and you can put it into practice and recognize. Because if you recognize one system from the other, then there's many things you can do in one system, many things you can do in the other system. Sometimes you cannot do the same things, obviously. Yes. In, in both. You have to be in one, either one or the other. So, yeah, yeah, and what that means is that, for example, you can uh, find the same... Um, a similar example in mathematics, for example, you could be counting odd numbers. So you go one, three, five, seven, or you could count uh, even numbers and you go two, four, six, and eight. So you will never find a three in, a, in, a, in an even number. You will never find a five. But when you're walking in cross system, you are always encountering the other leg that you wouldn't encounter. For example, mm -hmm. a simple example of parallel system is going like this. As you see, as I advance my right leg, Eva moves back her left leg. And then as I go forward with my left leg, Eva goes back with her right leg. And the same thing happens as I go back. Now in cross system, it requires that one of the dancers takes one extra step. For example, I will go a side step, I will put my weight on my left foot, so now we both have our left leg available to walk. See, I have my weight on my right foot, Eva has her weight on her right foot, and now we're going to take our first step. Left, left, I'm doing left. Left, left. on left, that's correct. Yes. We go right. On right. Right. Left, left on left. left. Right, left. Yes. So exactly. the possibilities, like very well you said a moment ago, the possibilities you find while you're walking in cross system 
are not the same as you find when you walk in parallel system. You name it, a sacada, a boleo, a gancho, they will simply not exist because those legs are not being used. This is quite an interesting subject. Yes. So, in this first movement that we're going to do today to help you connect with the enjoyment of walking is <clears throat> that at any moment of your dancing, you might take a back step, you might take a side step, and the lead will put his weight on the right foot. Normally, this is a moment of pause. We take a pause here, a moment of phrasing onto the music, and then from here we go left leg towards 11 o'clock. Not just straight in front, slightly to the left. 11 o'clock, left leg. Then I walk with my right leg, and then again with my left leg. A lot of the times the follows will lead themselves to the cross. So this is a good exercise to conduct your dance where you want to take it, not be taken by the dance. Okay, so you have to use your attention to make sure that you are here. One, two, second. As I put my leg right in front of my partner's thigh, I'm kind of like blocking this place for her to cross. So making it difficult, most likely she won't cross. Then we do the first step. Now I'm going to look at one or two o'clock. One or two o'clock is this diagonal right behind my partner's head. And I will veer to the right. I will go one step, right leg on right leg. Left leg. And then right leg again. If the dance floor is big, if there is space, if the inspirations continue, you can do this for quite a while. You could do probably four sets of three. What do I mean by this? Step to the side, maybe a little embellishment, unload my weight onto my right foot, not making my partner change. And from here I go one, two, three. Now veer right, one, two, three. Now veer left, one, two, and I won't do three because I will <laughs> exit the camera. <laughs> you want to do it with me? Yeah, of course. Okay, so here is step, everybody. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and maybe nine. I place my partner at the cross or on the cross. Yeah. We begin with a step to the side. I could take a moment to slide my foot over there as a decoration. Step to the side, rotate my partner. At this point, I have my weight on my right foot. My left leg is free of weight. Can you show Eva that your, your left foot is free of weight? And then from here, we are offset. Can you put your cheek next to mine? You see, we are cheek to cheek. That means my partner is on my right side, and we will walk. Outside partner, one, two, three. And now, one, two, three. One, two, and maybe place my partner in the cross. Mm -hmm. So, exactly. I want to tell people about the offset. How about we come closer to them so we can show them here. Will you show your back to the camera, please? Yeah. Beautiful, thank you. So, to dance in front of my partner is to be right lined up with both of her shoulders. My nose is in front of Eva's nose, and the shoulders are parallel. To dance with an offset is to dance here, you see? You can see my shoulder, you can see my face outside her face. We normally do this walking in this way. Outside, you see? Outside. And then I move outside to this other side. So it requires that I hold the frame and I have some room here in my shoulder blade so I can move my, my body and leave my frame where it is because my frame belongs to my partner. So if I move my body, I don't want to bring my partner with me, you see, because I want to change my relationship. I want to be now 
connected with my left pectoral, close to her. And then I will walk towards the right. And then I will rotate my body a little bit and walk towards the left. This is very important, the most of the awkwardness so when we are walking uh, in cross system uh, is to ho hold your partner in the position Patricio is talking about. Very often time leads, um, kind of, kind of lead the woman you know, into that position and it feels very awkward in the body. So try to really make an effort in keeping her in one side or being in the other side. You can practice actually moving yourself without moving your arm. This is a good practice, see? Because my arm stays, but I move. So if this is hard for you to achieve when you are alone, you can maybe use an object or something, okay? And put it flat and kind of move yourself and feel what happened in your body. Feel what happened in your, um, shoulder. In your shoulder that allows you to be in one side or in the other. It's like a mind kind of thing, right? You move your body, but you don't take your arm with you because that will be the end of the um, cross system walking because your partner will change with you and then you are in parallel again, yeah? And this is the relationship for both of us. As I walk towards my left, my partner is on my right side. As I walk towards my right, now my partner will be on towards my left side. Not quite everywhere, because my face will not change. I will yeah. not be switching the face from one side to another, unless we are dancing in an open embrace. Right. For example, you could be doing this. And you can change that if you want. That's what you do. Exactly. Like you you are, yes. You are lined up in front of each other, but the diagonals are empty. They are completely open. So that is where you want to be dancing. You want to be traveling in the diagonals. Mm -hmm. Correct. I think it's this, time that we do. I think uh, we should dance, right? You read but, my mind. Yeah, I know. You see, it's telekinesis. No, too many years together. I know. I know you so well. <laughs> and as Patricio is putting the music, first I wanted to say thank you for all the subscribers we have. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please do, it helps us a lot, you know. And also you can comment and you can like our videos. We really appreciate that. The same thing goes to um, if you want to donate some money for us because of the classes we are giving you here. We truly appreciate that. You know you can go to Venmo or PayPal and make a donation today or anytime you want. Thank you so much. Good, today we're going to dance Pugliese. So obviously this, this uh, uh, video will not be monetized because the copyright, but <laughs> here we go. Mi vida tan serena, 
condenaste hacia el dolor nunca podré arrancar de mi pecho nunca el abrojito pulsante y ando por todo el mal que me hace con el alma agonizante sin fe, sin nido ni amor no sé por qué te alejaste de mí si te adoré con creciente fervor no sé por qué me engañabas así sin demostrar tu desamor con tu querer yo era un hombre feliz y nunca pensé que tu ardiente pasión era un puñal que me habría de abrir esta herida en mi corazón. que me has hecho con el alma agonizante sin fe, sin nido, ni amor Son noble Muy bien, ¿no? Pugliese, Pugliese is so great for this walking Yeah I remember one of the musicians from Pugliese told me he at rehearsals Pugliese will tell the musicians to look at the dancers, to imagine the dancers when they were playing, walking on the first and the third beat. So no wonder this music is so strong, and the one, three, one, three, which is where we're walking. No sé por qué te alejaste de mí. Exactly. This music is built for the dance. Yep, I agree with that. I want to add something to the technique of the walking when you do close, uh, cross system in particular. In my years of experience teaching, uh, always I encounter kind of the same difficulties when people do that. And it's, for example, not taking the space under your partner. This is a very common thing that sometimes um, leads try to make space to walk outside partner and they create so much space that they, they you are uncomfortable walking because you are not walking in the line of the leg that your partner um, is uh, exiting, basically. Uh, so if, what I mean by it is if, if I'm in front of you here and my partner is there and he's going to take this space, he needs to take literally this space, the space where my leg is right now because by the moment he's pushing, I will be opening that leg, so he needs to fit in that line. That is right. Very often time leads to have a tendency to kind of walk a little bit away, thinking that you need more space than you actually do need, and then you find yourself kind of falling, you know, like it's not, it's not, um, it's not such an organic embrace and walk, okay, trying to avoid that space. So if we can show maybe, yeah, I don't know if going to the camera or maybe different angles. So here in particular, in the inner, when the inside leg, walk, uh, his right, my left in this case, walk in the same line. See that line there? He's not walking outside, he's walking in that line. Can you walk outside now? Common mistake is that creating that, and then you feel like you're falling here. Okay, because you, you, your track, the track we are walking, all of a sudden when, uh, when, um, it becomes wider. It's a good okay. idea to think that we have three tracks. Mm -hmm. One track from my left leg, one track from my right leg, and my partner's right leg, and one track for her left leg. Three tracks. Mm -hmm. the, center the track center track is shared. Mm -hmm. When the lead, Instead of walking straight ahead, when the lead walks away, like just Eva just demonstrated, that is when the follow is induced to the cross. Because the follow will feel like she has to change tracks. And therefore, after she puts her right foot, then she will change one track. Mm -hmm. 
if you lead her in the, set, in the other track, then she will pass through here. But right. if you step away from her, inevitably, she will feel like she has to cross and follow that. We saw which what is an error can become uh, an enlightenment because the, this is actually the technique that you use voluntarily when, when you, you want to do want that. Want to cross? <laughs> yes. So how we do that? Yes. So one step to the side, a moment to connect, and there we go. One, two, three. One. That's two, the middle the three. leg. Yeah. One. This one. Two. Two, now, this foot that I'm moving here is not anymore with my partner, it's further away, which gives me the chance to now, with a little bit of energy here from the elbow, from the elbow and the frame, to bring her in front of me. Okay. And, then, and then from here we walk so to the, the close -up. There you go, you get the um, cross system basic, basically, if you do that, yes. Yes, so I'm going to do it small. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Now my right leg goes cross away. Two, three, my partner cross. And then a resolution will be perfect right there. I actually had more space. Come do this with me. Yeah. One step to the side. This is a good opportunity to make your partner lean on you a little bit. And then we go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, cross away, three. My partner is at the cross. Tang, go, close. Yeah, usually you don't stop in the cross. You can, you can. In general, maybe you go through it, but it's good. It's good to show and to slow down, yeah. What do you say? That well, sometimes we go through, like you are splitting in a way that is very clear what is happening, but oftentimes the, in the cross system basic, you kind of go through, you don't really stop there. Like when you stop away, you kind of keep moving. That's correct, but it's a habit that I like to always challenge, because when people step through the cross like that in a rhythmic way, cross and walk past, then there is nothing that can be done right at the cross. And the cross itself is an amazing source of figures. Because right. once you're standing from the cross, you can change directions, you can change your orientation, you can begin boleos, you can begin turns, you can begin so many figures. So to step through the cross and run over it is something that I always like to remind my students not to do. Oh, that's right. Uh, right now, we are running out of space. So this step, if, I, if we had uh, a, a big studio or a big dance floor, we will not be going a lot to the left and to the right. We will only be steering left and right five minutes, just enough to avoid crashing with each other, kind of like a snake. A little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. So the diagonals are not very strong. Yeah. So it almost feels straight. It's beautiful in the simplicity of an elegant walking. When people are wearing elegant clothes and they cannot move a lot, or people don't want to break a sweat, and we want to enjoy some nice elegant dancing. You see, you here you cross. I can make it go into a forward step, and we move on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. See, the simplicity of a single walk. Tango Salon benefits a lot from this. It actually taps into this and makes, um, it makes a thing out of it uh, because this, the long, elegant step is, is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you yep. want to dance again with me? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> well, we should stay with Osvaldo Pugliese Sin palabras.
nació de ti Canto una canción que nos uniera Y hoy sé que es cruel Brutal quizá el castigo que te doy Sin palabras esta música veríte Donde quiera que le escuche tu traición la noche más absurda, el día más triste, cuando estés riendo, cuando llores tu ilusión. Perdóname si es Dios quien quiso castigarte al fin. Si hay llantos que pueden perseguir así. Si estas notas que nacieron por tu amor al final son un silicio y habré herida de una historia, son suplicio, son memoria. Cuanto cherido en mi dolor se alzará cada vez que oigas esta canción. Estas notas que nacieron por tu amor, al final son un silicio que abre herida de una historia, son suplicio, son memoria. Cuanto cherido en mi dolor se alzará cada vez que Esperaba. No, no me leíste la mente. I didn't read your mind that time. No. <risa> <risa> ok. This is challenge. Bueno. <risa> time, to, uh, time to finish. <risa> What? A ver, agárrame. Ah, así. <risa> you gotta fix it. You gotta fix it, right? Yeah, it's time to finish. Guys, see you next week. Yes, I will be here. Me too. <laughs> Thank you for being there in the other side of the screen. Bye. <laughs>